is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Uniswap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Um, tomorrow is going to be the last day for Uniswap that we review on the channel for a couple of weeks. So definitely make sure to leave a comment down below as to which cryptocurrency you would like to see reviewed in next week's videos. Um, specifically in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the very interesting movements most of these coins are having. XRP, as said in yesterday's video, has finally gained some volume, which we finally needed, broke above its resistance at 46 cents, as we know, and it's starting to swing back up. We're currently at 49 cents, almost 50 cents here um, at 8.33 in the morning on Saturday. We're also seeing a lot of the other cryptocurrencies start to finally see that volume that's needed to swing itself back up and regain support and hopefully retest its all-time highs, if not break through. Uh, example would be Bitcoin and Ethereum doing so as I speak. Otherwise, if you guys are interested in learning where exactly these cryptos are gonna be moving to, how to capitalize off the runs, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm, and uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter as well as Patreon, and I'll see you guys right after this. All right, so yesterday's video we talked about right here where I wrote XRP Ripple and these major altcoins could make you very wealthy moving forward in the crypto space. You can see pretty much exactly what i drawn out. Um, I guess you guys don't really like my thumbnail. I'll keep that in mind. Um, but you can see uh, clear as day, I drew a big uh, a pennant flag formation right there. And then you can see the massive, uh, or uh, what is it, red circle that I've drawn around it. And then the flag to the upside, the bull, you know, the bullish signal that would, you know, swing us to the upside, and it's kind of what's happening right now. Um, pretty much as we've been consolidating over and over again the past couple of days, we've finally seen the volume that we need to spark the movement in most of these cryptos and start to head up. The other good thing I'm noticing is uh, besides XRP, Bitcoin is actually retesting its all-time highs right now, which is extremely exciting. This might actually allow most of the crypto space to pump even higher, which is just great news all around. I'm extremely excited and we should be able to see coins hit levels that we're probably, you know, not really ready for yet. I don't think most of us are really expecting to see a $70,000 Bitcoin or even a $100,000 Bitcoin for that matter. So I am Pen, uh, spending quite a bit of time focusing on this as well as XRP if this loads up real quick boom as I do believe that we are headed up just a little bit higher within the market I do believe that the uh, pendant flag is finally broken and the coin is starting to swing up and it is going to play off fairly well as we're currently trading above the 40-day moving average which looks great this might be setting us up for a possible leverage trade to the upside which you guys can clearly take advantage of on BitYard which I did link in the description very simple if I wanted to get in on this literally just clicking buy long and capitalizing off the run to the upside. You can see more specifically what I'm referring to. This is why I'm excited. Now, days after days after days, as we discussed, we've had this massive pennant flag formation on XRP's charts, and we've noticed that uh, we needed the consolidation to break. And I mean, this is how most conservative traders, you know, s capitalize off runs like this. It's, it's simple, we talked about this. Usually the reason we draw these lines on, you know, on our charts is to find the point of breakout. Not necessarily figure out which direction we're going to be breaking out to, but the time period we're gonna be breaking out. So with this, it gave us a general reason to spend a little more time focusing right around the 16th of March than to be focusing back on the 7th of March. We knew that this kind of ended right around the 16th to the 17th. And as confirmed, we saw a bullish price break. Now, most people, and back, you know, if this market was extremely bullish, uh, the second we saw confirmation of a break here, we could honestly expect to see something like this, which is very plausible. It still is. Um, but immediately after that, we saw a major surge, as expected, volume shot into the market. We shot up to 51 cents. And then to my surprise, we corrected back down. So I was able to buy in right here at the stop loss of 46 cents. I bought in early, as I mentioned uh, multiple times in the past. And then we immediately shot up. I did not move my stop loss up. And last thing I checked, we were all the way back down lower than where my stop loss was. I made a very small profit, but um, it stopped me out, which was unfortunate. And I did not buy back in. Actually, the past couple of days, I've been talking to you guys about, we needed a, a solid confirmation 
above this resistance. And then the past three days now, one, two, three, we've pretty much just been riding on this uncertainty wave right here, trading sideways, not doing anything that would mean support to break to the upside. And then you can see right here, we finally did just a little bit um, as of today, which is very exciting. But um, as we know, we've seen these wicks before. It could very easily wick right back down today. So I'd like to see how today pans out. Um, you could, you know, buy in. I don't see a problem with buying in, but it could very easily do what we did back here. Um, I do believe that this time around, we're probably going to see more volume come in and swing us up to higher levels. Uh, because we're retesting resistances. But honestly, right where we are, I would just wait to get that confirmation close. I would really wait for Bitcoin to, or sorry, for XRP to actually close anywhere above 46 cents, to be honest. I would say maybe 47 cents. If we can close above 47 cents, then we're pretty certain we're going to see the prices start to swing back up. Maybe 40.475 or 0.478. Um, just giving us some green wick, some green candle here that would kind of signify. That would kind of signify a, you know, somewhat small volume burst to the upside. That's really what we're looking for. We could very easily see some sort of stairway formation. It could very easily move like that. It's possible, but I do think we're headed finally in the right direction, which is back up to the upside. And I do believe ah, probably by uh, maybe mid mid April, we could see prices come back up to 62 cents. But I do believe that XRP finally is starting to get the volume it's needed. And it's finally started to break to the upside, which is just, it's exciting all around. Um, I've actually been taking advantage of it quite a bit. We've made quite a bit of profit here by using uh, BitYard. I've also been using the demo account. I don't know if uh, most of you guys know by now, but um, the demo account literally just changes your balance that you have available from whatever it is in the live to a hundred thousand dollars in the demo. And it allows you to freely trade around. Nothing else changes on the website. And just test your skills. See if you can capitalize off these runs. If you can make a few ca um, you know, profitable trades on the demo, you might be ready for the live account, which is what I recommend most people do prior to jumping right in and losing money. It's not what I recommend, but it's definitely a very nice platform set up to do so. And it's very beginner friendly. So obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Twitter, on YouTube comments, it's harder to keep up with all the comments on YouTube every day, but um, Instagram or, or Twitter is fine as well. Um, moving on, we do have, uh, let's see, Ethereum now. You can see Ethereum did bottom off at the bottom support here. We do have an uptrend. We are creating these higher lows. I do believe, honestly, in everything that I've seen in crypto, we're headed back up to the all-time highs. I do believe, once again, we're probably going to retest all-time highs probably by mid to end of March, closer to March 24th. Uh, we're bottoming out on support right here. We're bouncing off the uptrend. We have these higher low formations. We have about three confirmations right here. Uno, dos, this is trace. And we're probably going to see that swing that we need back up, which is honestly what I'm anticipating and expecting. So I do believe we're going to see a confirmation where we retest 1950 probably in the next couple of days. I really do think that uh, most of these cryptos are fairly bullish by now. We are going to see probably a bounce off the MACD right over there and swing back up to 1950. Uh, so I do think all these cryptos, for the most part, are good investments. I do think Ethereum is a good investment. I do think Ethereum is going to be headed up to 1950 very soon, just by the way these coins are trading out. Bitcoin's the only one that kind of worries me. I'm not really, you know, uh, upset in any way or nervous about, you know, Bitcoin. Don't let that, you know, cross your mind. Uh, we are getting very close to what could be a bearish cross on the MACD, but I do think we're going to bounce off of here. Uh, only a few days left of this consolidation. Now, what I noticed too is if we just go like this, boop, you can clearly see the wicks that we've had, which is what we've been using on the four hour support, which would make sense. But on the daily, you know, just moving it up to the end of this, you can clearly see it's like today or tomorrow which pretty much ends the consolidation of Bitcoin. And I'm literally telling you the second we see confirmation of a pop above here, above resistance of, I'd say, uh, you know, a solid investment is honestly, if we can close above $60,000 tonight and we close above there, 
I do think we're going to be headed straight up, and I do think we're going to easily go to 70K. So I am very excited for Bitcoin, what Bitcoin has in store. A slight tweak of the chart, just from its wicks to its actual candles, um, allows it to show that we're pretty much at the end of this consolidation, and there's not really much time left. And I do believe we're going to see that pop. I think everything's riding right now on a big pop to the upside. Second, we see confirmation above 60K. It's all in. We are going to see a pretty big rally. So I'm very excited for that. As for Uniswap, looking okay. Consolidation hit on the daily. Uh, even if we do consolidate, like I said, just a little bit more time left for uh, Uniswap into, uh, I would say, the resistance up here. But what did I tell you guys just a couple of days ago? I literally told you guys that we were headed back up to $34. I literally guaranteed it that we were heading back up to all-time highs and going to be retesting that. Watch any video in the past. Everyone that asked me about Uniswap, watch any video in the past. I talked that we hit the bottom support. We needed to consolidate after retesting resistance here. Consolidation happened. We hit the bottom support on the green uptrend as beautiful as it did. And an immediate surge to the upside is exactly what happened. We retested all-time highs. Now we're seeing the consolidation as expected. But $34 was the target. And that is exactly what we hit right on the head. I talked about this yesterday. We can go back two days ago. And you can clearly see that's exactly what was mentioned. So um, definitely make sure to be watching these videos all the way to the end. Because you might miss out on a big opportunity like Uniswap. Um, otherwise, S&P 500 looks okay. Um, you know, kind of coming back to uh, the support. Hopefully it holds out here. We'll find out back on Monday. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.